listening to Empire FM. I came happy, I came energized, I came to the studio today with lots of love. I got a kiss blown at me by the man on the console, <laughs> and I think my producer is jealous, even though she would not admit it. Okay, so with today, I come to you with lots of love from the team. So with that, I say welcome to my wonderful listeners, welcome to my wonderful people, and my lovely ones to keep me going. Welcome to your favorite program on the radio, Love Bite. My name is Mimi. I am reaching you live from Empire FM 111.5. Today, mm, we will be further discussing the issues and the common problems we have in relationships and marriages. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Last week was power packed. And today, I expect you, you, my bestest, to pour your heart out to Mimi, your favorite anchor on the radio. All right, we have our very first caller on the line. Hello, this is 111.5, your life on Love Bite. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, good afternoon. My name is Stella and I'm calling from Tetris. All right, Stella, what are the challenges you're facing in your marriages or your relationship? Um, well, so I've been in this relationship with my guy for the past 18 months. Beautiful, going well and recently proposed. Yeah, he proposed and we we'll fixed marriage and we're planning for our wedding and all. Oh, wow! Congratulations, Stella! Thank you. But there seems to be a problem. So, ma, it seems my man does not enjoy my cooking. He prefers to eat outside even when there's food at home. And at this point, it's beginning to make me worry. Like, I'm beginning to think I'm less of myself. I don't know what else to do. I don't, I don't know what else to do. Okay, all right, Stella, keep listening and I'll reply to that. Thanks for calling. Oh, hello, we have another caller in the house. Hello, this is 111.5. We are live on Love Bites. What's your name or where you're calling from? Hello, Mimi. My name is Maxwell. I'm a music producer. Hi, what are your challenges before you? The issue I have is my wife. She's not giving me a headache. She doesn't cook, she doesn't clean, she doesn't do anything around the house. I'm tired. Sometimes I even help out, okay, fine. As a man, I help my wife out. It's not, it's not a big deal, yeah? But then, she, she abuses your privilege. Yes, she takes advantage of everything. And I'm tired. All she does is galifant around town. She goes to clubs, she flexes and everything around, around town. But when she, when she comes to cooking the house or doing house chores, she, she doesn't do nothing. And we remind for just six months. This I'm going to continue my life. Ah, ah, you see people who celebrate 30 years, 40 years. Please, I can't do this. Please, don't give me advice. I can't do, I'll do, I'll do anything now. Okay, Mr. Maxwell, I understand how you feel. Keep listening. I will reply to that. All right, let's go on a small break and I will be back. And you're listening to Empire FM. All right, welcome back on the show. In case you're just joining us, this is Love Bites with me, me. So the first caller complained about her fiancé not liking her cooking. Well, this is not a problem. I believe this is not a problem because if it is, he would not go on ahead and propose to you or fix a wedding date. Abby, he's your man. He is your man. So study him. Try to know the kind of food he likes, the kind of flavor, what you want in his meals and how he wants it to be served. I guess I'm making a point, right? Then you can adjust your mode of cooking or better still, enhance your cooking skills by going to a catering school. Like my dad, for instance, likes local made foods. He will not appreciate it if you give him anything foreign, no matter how tasty it is. I think that settles it. And then also, also the second color, he said his wife is trying to abuse the privileges given her. Wow. I find that kind of romantic if you ask me. It's lovely that a man enters into the kitchen and he cooks for you. But I don't, what I don't find attractive is the fact that the woman is being lazy. My dear wifey, if you learn from your husband, try to be romantic. Try to be romantic as well. Do not push it. So Mr. Maxwell, you will have to be patient with your wife. Your wife needs it the most. Work towards that. Still on the cruise with Mimi. I will be right back.
last night? What happened? Where are you coming from? She's tired. Hey, can you stop this and tell me in plain words where you're coming from? Okay, well, um, I went to Shola's house after the studio session and um, I, I was knocking on his door. He refused to open. It was too late. It's too dangerous for me to drive. And so I slept in my car. You mean you slept in the car? And that boy, Shola, was at home. You knocked, he didn't open the door. I've always said it. I know it. I guess he's just a good for nothing boy. That's what he is. It, it, it's not, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if, if this, the sound I heard in the house was, I'm not, I'm not sure. I guess maybe, maybe I assumed that it was the, I don't even know what I heard, but I'm okay. not sure. Maybe yeah, it's not sure. You know what? It's too early for me to dwell on you and Shola's matter. Please, I am off to work. Just take care of yourself, I'm off. Hmm. Look at You like this? Check the temperature. Is it good? It's okay. It's okay. Enough. Yes, it's okay. Good morning. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dad. Sorry, just manage this. This is all like we find in your son's kitchen. You know how it is. Take a bite. Mmm, some shrubs. Like it? Yeah, anything you prepare, I will eat with love. Aww. You know, it's amazing how after so many years, both of you still keep your love and affection going, eh? Yeah. My baby. Oh, please. She had cake. Go on, Mary. Mm. Anyway, sweetie, yes, let me go upstairs, finish up. Beatrice will soon be here. I need to go to the market to buy some food stuff and stock up his kitchen for single people. It's okay. Okay? Okay, mm. baby. Enjoy your breakfast. Don't be long, baby. I will not. I grew her. Go and get married. <laughs> one day, one day, I will stop being intimidated by these two people I know. One day, <laughs> one day. So what they do, I'm all don't bust Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You don't bust though. That's what they do, I'm. Um. You don't bust though. So we they do our mo, don't bust Yo, that's all we they do one for here. You don't bust though. Okay, I need to add them. Um, one more thing. One more thing. Ah, who's this one again? This guy's distracting me, like, seriously. I don't like this. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's all get it now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is this now? I don't like this, though. What's 
What's the silent treatment for? There's no welcome hug or kiss? Nothing? Mimi, please. I'm trying not to be upset with you. Kisses and hugs? You think you deserve those? After not showing up yesterday? I, I came. I, I, I was knocking. I felt like I was even knocking endlessly. You, your phone was switched off. I tried to reach you. I was outside. And, and even your security on the street came in. I accosted and asked me why I was out there by that time of the night. And I said it was too late for me to drive home. And I was waiting for you to come home. I was here. I came. I've told you times without number that I'm not comfortable with you coming to see me late at night. Yeah, but I already told you before now, it's my second show. It's my second show. If it finishes at 10.45 on weekdays, that, that's why. And I've mentioned it. And then by the time I'm, I'm, I'm done with my report and I park and, and then I drive all the way here, some time would have gone. I told you before. Yeah, some time. Anyway, speaking of some time, I need some time to finish my work. Okay? I need to put this bit together for my artist. I have noodles in the kitchen. Just make me something. I came with some food stuff there in the car. Oh, okay. Better. All right? Because I'm really hungry. This man is hungry. I'm sorry. Sit down. You're just looking so beautiful. Thank you for the meal. Oh, you're welcome. Babe, yeah. listen, I have good news. Like, yeah. good news. You see this heat I just made? This, this beat, mm -hmm. it's a banger. Like, it's a global heat. When I tell you, see, this is it for us. Like, we should be celebrating right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ooh. Sweetie, um, my love. I love when you smile like that. <laughs> so listen now, okay, I have only one challenge. I need some money, okay? I need some money, you know, for strict activation to promote this song. Because this, this is a hit. Like I said, global hit. It's not local. See, we're going global, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. We're going global. Okay, listen to it one more time. Listen. Come on. Come on. This is, listen, this is it, okay? So, yeah, I need some money. Oh, oh for me? Yeah. Uh, well, baby, I gave you some money last week. I mean, I gave you some money last week. And, and I've told you before, you should give me these mastered copies. Let me take them to the studio. I'll have the DJs in the radio station there play them for you for free. It's just for me to tell them. Mimi, what are you saying? I'm a damn good producer, okay? What are you saying? I know my onions. I know. So songs blow in the street before they blow in the radio. So don't teach me my job, all right? Uh, well, uh, honestly, and um, honey, you you have to get a side hustle to support this music career because it's not it's not pain. It's, it's, it's financially draining, and you know I have younger ones in the university, and all, all their bills are on me. I'm getting exhausted, to be honest. I don't have, it's nothing, nothing left. Wait, what are you insinuating? Do you know you just insulted me? How? What? I've, I've supported you through, through 
eight songs, eight, eight songs. I'm just saying that let's just be logical. This is. I am illogical. Eh? What, 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 what was that for? Eh? Are, are you still talking? Are you? Are you still? this to you? Mimi, who did this to you? You're not talking, right? Don't tell me it is Shola that did this. Hey! Again? Shola? Oh, that guy is a bastard! He's a beast! When are you going to leave this toxic relationship? Now tell me, how are you going to go, go to work looking like this? Huh? Oh, Shola, 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 this time you must suffer for this. Let me call my uncle who is in the army. Wait, 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 and I don't want anybody to hurt him. Mimi, when will you stop blaming yourself? Open your eyes and see that, Mimi, you're sinking. In fact, you're drowning in stupidity and not love. What is this now, Mimi? What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this to yourself? It is finished. color was so funny all right still on situation report so you call in and tell us what is happening in your area right now because we'll be staying much longer today before the next program starts if you're just joining us this is empire fm 111.5 still on situation report with yours truly joy you don't touch the dial because i'll be right back empire F -M. Babes, what's the meaning of this? Do you want to lose your job? This is not the right time for you to cry. No. Please put yourself together so you can anchor your program. When you're done, you get home, we'll talk about it. Please. Yes, what's going on? Um, um, good morning, sir. What's going on here? Joy, I thought you were supposed to be done with your program. Yeah. And Mimi is supposed to be on. What is going on? Yeah. Mimi, when I'm talking to you, please kindly remove those glasses, okay? Look up, please. What? What happened to you? Uh, um, uh, um, sir, sir, she had an accident earlier on. She's been I in I wasn't pain. talking to you. The question was not for you. Amy, uh, what happened? I had an, an accident earlier on, sir, and I'm still in pain. You had an accident and you're still in pain? Yeah. Then you must go home. 
enjoy cover up for her, okay? Okay, sir. Go home, baby. Joy, see me in my office when you're done. Okay, sir. Go home. Oh, thank God. Okay, just, just, just go home. Like he said, go home. I'm going to cover up for you. Just put yourself together. Go home. Um. <sighs> Sir, what can I do for you? Went to the same university with me, right? Yes, sir. You served the same time and in the same city, Botako, to be precise with me. Yes, sir. You applied for this job at the same time with me. Yes, sir. So, she is your very good friend. Sure. She has been your very good friend. Correct, sir. So Joy, can you tell me what the black guy was all about? What the accident was all about? How did it happen? Sir, I really have no idea of what the accident was all about. You have no idea? Yeah. And you want me to believe that? Yeah. You have no idea? Sure I don't. Your day. Very restful. Just all day. I haven't had a siesta in a while, so. Wow. It was much needed. Mm -hmm. Nice one. <laughs> so, thank you for looking out for me, Joy. I almost spilled the things today. What are friends for? I will always be there for you. Hmm? Trust me. So, the director said you should seek four days off. Make sure you're fully recovered before you come back to work. Mm -hmm. So he also said I should stand in for you. And I accepted. <laughs> so you owe me big time. Agreed? <laughs> okay, so we go catch our steam. <sighs> It is also my belief that now you're back, you will no longer allow your personal issues affect your work. Yes, sir. Am I understood? Yeah, yes, sir. Very well. It is also amazing how a role model like you will gradually get into a fight. Even though I have Oh, you got into a fight. You see that black eye? I wasn't deceived. It didn't come from no accident but a fight. Sorry, like sorry. I said, you are a role model. Why would you condescend so long? A lot suspected from you. From this office, a lot suspected. Your listeners expect a lot from you as well. Image is everything. What 
did I say? He mentions everything. Good. <laughs> Give this to Joy. Thank you, sir. You're listening to Empire FM. 111.5. All right, for those of you joining us, we have a very, very interesting topic today. Our discussion today centers on at what point do you think it is not worth it anymore? Like you say to your partner, this relationship, this, this situation, this whatever it is, it's no longer what it is. Call in and let me know what your thoughts are. In case you're just joining us, this is Love Bites with Mimi, Empire FM. 111.5 and we have our very first caller. Hello, good evening. Hello Mimi, I'm Francis. Just want to appreciate the good work that you're doing. Oh, oh no, we lost the caller. All right, Francis, thank you so much. I appreciate you too, thank you. And we have our second caller. Hello. Good evening Mimi. My name is Mike and I'm calling from Federal Housing. Hi, Mike. Hi, hi, hi. So, what do you think? What do you think about this topic? Well, for me, it's when the feelings are not mutual, like one-sided feeling. When I see that I am the only one trying to build up the relationship, the second person is not interested. So, I cannot keep pushing. I have to retrace my steps. Oh, wow, Mike, I like the fact that you retrace your step. Thank you so much for calling. We have another caller on the line. Hello, good evening. Hello, Mimi. Good evening. I'm Cynthia calling from the island. Oh, hello. Good evening, Madam Cynthia. What is your take on this topic? Well, my comment about the topic. I have this friend who confided in me about something. She said about her husband being the pastor. The pastor in question fast like continuously have time for his wife he's always in church work here and there all the time oh okay so then what's your complaint exactly the complaint there is he doesn't touch his wife for money tonight even she complained about him not performing his duty as a husband every time he doesn't touch his wife even that she's complaining for the past 18 months she's been complaining about the same thing this is annoying okay the other day she's trying to touch him he said he's trying to keep it holy that everything is a sin oh really well, for me, I would like to ask, what do we advise her to do? I'm really worried about her. She's been complaining about him not touching her. Well, I am going to attend to this one because it is a very, very interesting one. Despite the fact it's not our topic for today, it was for last week where I asked people to call in and tell us the pro problems that they are facing. And um, before we come back to our topic for today, let me quickly attend to this. Well, most people are like that. No, I cannot have sex because I am face fasting and I want to face God alone. But well, fasting isn't what you do for God. It's what you do for yourself. Okay? So God has already blessed you and he is not going to decide to start blessing you because, you know, you're starving yourself. This is not what fast is not how fasting works. Understand what fasting does is it helps you to be attuned because you are not eating right it helps your body go down it, it helps your spiritual life come up and things like that so fasting helps you focus focus on the spiritual things however there are other different types of fasting it is not all fasting that has to do with food it's not all fasting that has to do with you know food and and what you ingest by yourself even if there is the most common fasting there are some other types of fasting that does not include food sometimes you call it the dry fasting the one you don't have water and then you have the regular fasting sometimes you take water so you can have the strength to pray and do other activities for the day while there are some fasting that is called the absolute dry fasting where you don't eat you don't drink the most important thing is that while you're fasting please don't starve remember to pray and if you ask me i don't think fasting should include sex but some people actually don't think so but trust me when i say some people do believe that sex should be included in fasting now if you're one of those people and you want to go for fasting for a couple of days please 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 make sure you let your partner know it is quite unfair for you to just drop it on the, him on her and say because you're fasting you don't want to have sex so i'm hoping that this said pastor is listening to me right now and others who are fond of this habit please it is not right 
it is not right. So we'll go back to our topic for today. Please sit still. You're still on Love Bites with Mimi on your favorite FM, Empire FM 111.5. Don't change the dial. Empire FM. You're home early today. Yes, yes, I had an early one, so I'm back. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that reminds me. Yes. The talk show I listened to, what's the name of the lady again? Um, Mimi or something? Mimi. Yeah, Mimi. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Love Bite. Yes, that's oh, the name. Oh, you listen to Love Bite? I do. Yes. I love it. Oh, well, she's one of our best OAPs on Empire FM. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. She's good. Yeah, she's really good. Really. Yeah, I'm oh, here. Hi, boy. Oh. Mm, sweetheart. Mm. Let's uh, do the movie and take some wine. Exactly. No, seriously, I must tell both of you, you're intimidating me in this house. Go and get married, boy. You're jealous. Please, I'm, I'm, I agree. Yeah. I'm not listening to this, please. <laughs> but, but. Hey, George. Yes. Um, I and your mother will be on the getaway this weekend. Don't bother yourself. The flight has been booked already, all right? Exactly. OK, you love birds. Have fun. <laughs> and please try and get somebody that you can have fun with. It will be nice. Young lady, where are you going to with my car? And when are you getting your car from the mechanic? Oh, it's taking long. The guy said tomorrow. Mimi is my boo, Dennis. And you know, he's so full of surprises. So mm -hmm. he just called me and said I should meet him up at the mall that he wants to take me out for shopping. Yeah. I'm not for to see all this kind of man. I've never met a man that bought me a chewing stick before, let alone take me to a mall to shop. Oh. The one that I found ended up being a beast. You can say that again. But in his defense, it was not like that from the beginning. Beautiful. Yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Good morning. I made the breakfast. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah. You did? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what time did you wake up? <laughs> you see, I just couldn't sleep. Because I was, I was thinking how. You like it? Good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> like it, yeah? yeah? So, let me go do my thing.
Mm-hmm. You know I love you, right? Mm. And I love you more. Honey, I might not say this very often, but you are very gifted. And my prayer right now is for the biggest, biggest record label in the country. They need to find you. And when they do, they'll be very lucky that they have you. You know that, right? Yeah. Because you're very talented. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud of you. Yeah. So I say amen to the prayer. Amen. Okay? Yeah, amen. And there's one thing I know. What? I love the way you look at me. <laughs> but there's one thing I know. What? With you by my side. Mm -hmm. It's elevation all the way. All the way! All the way. Thank you for that. You need to know how talented you are. They will. And you will always be by my side. No matter how big I get. Are you sure? Absolutely. I don't want anybody <laughs> else beside me but you. <laughs> so I'll just take a look at my life. Mimi, why are you doing this to yourself? Why? I know this feeling and all you're trying to do now is to damage your mental health. Mimi, this is not what you need right now. You need all the strength you can get so you can carry on on your daily activities, especially your program. So many people are looking up to you so they can solve their problems. And I cannot even solve my own problem. I know. But you see that guy? He has never loved you. All he wanted was what he would benefit from you, especially your money. Reason he made you fall heads over heels in love with him so he can mess you up. And I kept telling you, leave this guy in me. You refused. You kept running back to him. Now just look at it. What did you even see in this guy now? Okay, I'm, I'm not going back to him anymore. Never. Because I know I deserve better. Best. I, I'm a strong woman. Yes, Mimi, you're strong. Yes. It's just that I'm, I'm hurting inside, Joy. Oh, I can't help him. I'm, I'm, I'm done with men and their issues. Please I'm don't not say interested that. Anymore. Don't say that again. I'll be right back. I'll be back. Just waiting. I beg, I beg, I beg. Okay, march down, I beg. Step down, step down, step down first. Step down. What's going to happen now? Nah? What do you want? Please, I want to see Mimi. You want to see Mimi? Mimi does not want to see you. Why? See, I want to see my girlfriend. Hey! You really have some nerves, right? So after beating her up like a common criminal, you have the gut to show your face. Yeah. Tell me you want to see Mimi, Abby? Listen, we only had a little misunderstanding. Get out of my way, let me see my girlfriend. Hey, 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 Brazo, hold on there. Hold on there, what's in there? What's in there? What's in there? What are you now? You want me to call security on you? See, no look me like say I package. I know be Lagos girl. Now nah, from about from the combo. Make a take. no even try them. No try, no cross this place again. No. I go match you down. What's in there? Security! No, 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 shouting, no, stop shouting. I'm going to call security. I'm going to call security. I resemble me for your face. Of course, security. What's in the body you say? You're the parents for you. Don't worry. I beg, match out. Fed! What's in the body you? Waka! You know, I'm going to see about what I want to do. Let me go. I'm going to get a feeling. I'm going to be dead. Talk the fire, you dear. Why are you crying? Please stop it. That punk doesn't deserve your tears. Now permit me to tell you that your class is off his silly league. So please. Don't worry me. Joy. Why? Why is it me? I don't know. Why I just can't have a, a decent relationship? I don't know why I cannot have a smooth, smooth relationship. All my relationships are just the same. Mimi. 
Nobody can offend. I mean, I will be reaching me. What have I done? What is my crime? I don't even know. How do I start? Mimi, stop. Stop it. Please. You haven't done anything wrong. Listen, at the right time, a good man will come and all these things will become history. Or oh, haven't you heard the law of attraction? Please, Mimi. All I need you to do now is to be positive minded and everything good will come to you. Please! Stop it. Mimi, stop this. This guy. Please! Just stop! Stop it! That guy doesn't deserve you! Please! I don't even know what he's thinking. That guy is not. He's not even a man. He's a boy. That's why he's treating you the way he's doing. Please, and don't open that door for him. Yes, I did. Uh, please uh, sit down. Okay. Sir. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> of course, you know Thompson's beverages, right? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, uh, the CEO, of Mrs. Thompson, Akinaji at the golf club. Yes, 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 yes. She said so, and um, as such, has decided to sponsor a segment in your program. Oh my God, so that is, that is great news. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm really yes. happy to hear about that. Yes, 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 yes. So definitely expect to raise. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm very grateful. You're welcome and a promotion as well, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Okay. I appreciate that. All right, that will be all. <laughs> Thank be. you. All right, have a nice one. Thank you. Um, Mimi. Yeah. Please sit down. Okay. Are you still in that abusive relationship? Don't ask me how I know. I've been there, done that one, the t-shirt, okay? You see, when you enjoy gossip or talk in your office, your weak walls actually extend the messages to some of us. Isn't it amazing how you take control of your show, how you sell butterflies of advice to your listeners, whereas you have dragons flying in your love circle? Yes. Life happens like that sometimes, sir. Life actually happens to those who plan properly, focus on their future and their goals, and stay away from toxic relationships. I expect better from you. You're a beautiful girl. There are lots of men out there who treat you like a queen, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay more focused, sir. I'm going to make sure I just put my energy at my work and, and focus on getting to the top of my career, sir. Good. I promise. You just do that, okay? Yes, sir. Do that. That will be all. Finance will call you, okay? Thank you, sir. Okay. I appreciate that. All right. Oh, yes. I support the director. You made the right decision. In fact, the best decision. And living Shola feels like this heavy weight has just left my shoulders. Which kind shoulder? A whole rubbish load off your heart. I don't even understand you. Why do they love rubbish love? Why are you talking like this now, Joy? But I'm saying the truth now. You know it. I'm still surprised how the director knew that I was in an abusive relationship. He knew? How? 
trust that guy now. You know our director is a sharp guy. The guy corrects now. But then, your black eye then was so obvious. You shouldn't let any man treat me like that, you know. I deserve better. But I've been telling you that, have I not? And as for that one, Dennis, he has limited time to tell me where this relationship is heading to. Because as for me, marriage is the goal. I'm sure he will. I know he will. Mm, he should be fast too. Because I know he shows me so much love, care and attention. But check me out now. I'm not getting any younger now. Babe, they go down every day. Please, oh, I need to get married. Quick and fast. Time, no day. Okay. I believe that if you sit him down, you have a healthy conversation with him, you'll be able to sort everything out. Hey, <laughs> hey. Madam OAP, relationship advisor. <laughs> Is this said this on the radio talk. Now, real life will be. You see, Joy, I am going to meet Dennis. He will tell me when ring is entering this finger. I beg, I don't want to do this momo love way you do. I don't even know. It be like say your spirit, don't they follow me, self? I beg, I don't do it again. I have to go up with Dennis. I have to tell him where this relationship is going to be. Ah, enough is enough. Dennis! 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 Dennis, it's obvious you are avoiding this topic and I don't even know why. Wait, can I can I at least get water from the fridge? Dennis, can you stop there and talk to me? Dennis. You've been dating for a while. So why are you, why is it that you don't want to talk about marriage? Huh? Is it that this relationship is all about having fun? Oh, baby, no. Eh? Listen, look, why don't we let square pegs at the right time fit into square holes? Babe, all I'm saying is let's be positive. Hmm? Everything would happen in its own time. Love conquers all. Dennis, don't play with my intelligence. What I asked was a direct question. So why are you twisting and turning English? I, I, I'm not twisting and turning anything now. It, look, babe, look, you're my girl. You're my only one. I love you. Mm? Just, just give me some time, okay? Dennis, is there another woman? Babe. No, 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 you have to answer me. Is there another woman? Why would you say a thing like that? Because you're being slimy. Dennis, you have to answer me. You're not walking away. No, you have to answer me. Enough is enough. What is this now? Dennis, you have to answer me this period. You have to. Yes, you're welcome back to the show. It is Love by Big Mimi on your favorite station, Empire FM 111.5. Today's topic is, at what point do you think it is worth it to call off that relationship? At what point? Now, if you're in a relationship with somebody and he feels like he always tries to dodge the questions and answers and conversations that leads to what's going on, where is this relationship going to? For example, marriage. Like when you're that person just doesn't want to have any conversation that has to do with marriage. Should there be a cause of alarm for the woman? Does she have to question this guy? What do you think? Please call in and let me know what your thoughts are. Share your thoughts, honey. This is Mimi on the line. I am waiting for you to call. Our very first caller is here. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the show. What is your name or where you're calling from? Hello, Mimi. My name is Paul. Okay, so tell us, share your thoughts. What, what do you think? Well, for me, when the guy doesn't want to talk about marriage, yeah, um, there are two things involved. It's either he's not ready or maybe the person is, is in a relationship with doesn't see her or him to be worthy of being in a relationship with or worthy to end up with. So that's my take. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a tough call. Okay, we will have to come back to this topic. Uh, we have another caller in the house. Hello.
are you doing? Madam, you better come and join me and do some exercise. Who? Me. Join you and do exercise. You want to finish me? Please. <laughs> I never won't die. Did you listen to so my show up? last night? Show I did. What do you think? Um, wait. It was about Dennis and I, right? And I listened to people's opinion. Mm -hmm. Truly, I have to be meticulous mm -hmm. and intentional about this Dennis. <sighs> I have to put closer eyes on him to actually know his true direction on our relationship. My dear, you need to do it fast because I'm about to join the bandwagon singing and screaming that all men has come. <laughs> <laughs> And Shalat's name is gonna be first on the list. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I need to do it. Mimi, don't start what you can't finish. <laughs> Believe me, don't start what you can't finish. Empire F M. <laughs> <laughs> and you're listening to Empire oh my God. F M. <laughs> Lagos Nawa. So the truck driver who blocked the road this morning caused a traffic. And when you people accosted him, he was crying. And when he was asked what was wrong with him, he said he was served breakfast this morning as in heartbreak. <laughs> you know? Can you imagine? And he went ahead to demand for food and money before he can be able to move his truck out of the way. This is what we see in Lagos all the time. <laughs> Oh, my colors this morning have been so funny. Oh, please, guys, I'll be right back. Don't touch the dial. We are going on a short break. Empire F M. Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. I thought Mimi was supposed to be on now. No, she doesn't have a program today. But I thought she... Mimi was... No, no, no. You're sure? Yeah, I'm not on the timetable. She doesn't have a program today. Okay. You know what? I'll I'll call her. Okay, sir. All right. Okay, sir. Yeah. Continue. Thank you, sir. And you're listening to Empire FM. This is what we see in Lagos all the time. <sighs> I didn't know you were back. Sure, you wouldn't know. I've always told you to lock this door. Um, I'm sorry, Your Royal Highness. Forgive thy humble servant. I hear. <laughs> Um, the, the director was at the studio while I was running my show and he asked after you. Mm, you called me. You wanted me to confirm some programs for him. I told him I don't run programs on weekends. I don't know why that man just keeps forgetting. I'm, I'm sure he's one of your biggest fans right now. Not the only fan. My television. I mean, give me Dennis just now. What's up? You don't want to give me Tori. Um, I have a secret. Ah, I love secrets. Your secrets are safe with me. Shoot. You this girl! You like a pro ah. <laughs> I love it. Give me just a bag. How fucking? Okay. okay. What did you find? Nothing yet. But I'm running a serious investigation on Dennis. I even hired someone to keep a track on him. Girl, you have gone that far? Babes, your girl is not getting any younger. So I really have to know where I am investing my life and my time. I'm so thoughtful to see that my girl has got complex. Mm -hmm. Complex? Mm -hmm. I beg who complex eh? Oh, may God punish that complex. <laughs> I say may God punish complex. Then this God will punish you. I say may my God punish you, Dennis. You! God will punish you. What's the meaning of this? Who is this? Is this not your wife? Dennis, is this not your wife? I, I, I can, I can explain. You can explain what? Dennis, what do you want to explain to me? Dennis, 
You deceived me all along. Dennis, you were married? That was why you never wanted to discuss marriage, right? And your marriage was just barely three years! Dennis, for wasting my time, God will punish you. Wait. You, you will pay for it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me explain. Hmm? Dennis, leave my hand. It, it, it's not what you think. Dennis, leave me alone. Just give me a little time. Dennis, I said leave me! I loved my wife and that's why I married her. But after the wedding, everything changed. She became a totally different person. She started nagging a lot and even made my life more difficult than it was as at that time. We were on the verge of a divorce before my company sent me down here to become the regional manager. And then I met you. I fell in love with you. I finally met the woman that makes me happy. Then why did you lie to me? Dennis, listen to yourself. You're still married and not yet divorced. How am I even sure you're telling me the truth? I'm sure this is another set of lies coming from you. Dennis, if you claimed you loved me so much, why didn't you tell me? Why do you have to allow me to go through the stress of finding out myself? Why? Stop it! I just need a little more time to sort things out with Abigail. Chino, so? Yes. I also know her native name. Now listen. Dennis, I don't want to set my eyes on you again. Ever! Thank you for wasting my time. I'm not, baby. I am sorry. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I, I, I love you. Excuse I, I me. I do love you. To hell with you and that love. Babe. Why I keep telling you that men can never be trusted? It's okay now, Joy. It's okay. Ah, to think that he was married and he hid it so well from me that I did not even suspect him. Yeah. Ah, men. How we cope, coexisting with them, it just has to be magic. Men are scum. No difference. They're all the same. But this time, Dennis, Dennis, you will pay so dearly for wasting my time and my emotions. Rubbish. <sighs> Let me stop. It's not okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not taking it easy. I am not. Where's dad? I don't know where he is and I don't care. Mom, I don't understand. What do you mean by you don't know where he is? Both of you travel together. Why are you coming back separately? I said I don't care. You have his number. You can't reach him, right? Please, is there water in this house? Mom, I don't really get this. I mean like... Can you, you get me water? I, I could just get it myself. You know Mom, what? I'll do it. Thank you. Get, get up out Mom, what is really going on? Please, can you talk to me? Mom! Girlfriend! How do I look? You look good. Where are you going? Thank you. I need to go cut some time out, have a little fun. Yeah, where are you going to have a little fun? Um, okay, the truth is that I have a date. Yes. <laughs> Wait what? a minute, you're already over Dennis. 
Dennis? <laughs> Is that a noun? <laughs> Name of an animal, place or thing? Kella Berg. You see that name? It belongs to the history horrible books. Yeah. <laughs> Joy, I swear to God, I envy you. I, I wish I had your strength and your will sometimes. I beg. Me, I cannot come and keep myself for anybody. You see, my energy is a privilege, and I am mindful of who I give access to it. I move. <laughs> you go have fun, girl. Enjoy sure, I will. We move. I can help. We take care of you. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Dad, what is really going on? What's going on? Why would you and mom come back home separately? Son, your mom and I had issues. We'll talk about it when we're ready, okay? Just give me some time. What do you mean I should give you some Boy, time? What is really going on, time. son? Tell me what's happening. What's going on? Sam, leave this bag alone. Sam, leave my bag alone. Honey, honey, I please, said, please, 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 don't, don't do this, don't leave do this for me, please, honey, wait, please, leave, please, my, my please, please, honey, let's please, go, let's 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 go, you don't want to talk? The cat got your tongue? Please, what is really going on, Mom? You've not talked to anybody since yesterday and now you're back? What is happening? What, what, what's with your back? What, what's happening? Well, I'm leaving because your father, he spoiled it all. He destroyed all we built together. During the weekend getaway, he gave me the shock of my life. Shock? Yes, shock! I love it. Yes. They're one of the best to run. I can tell. I like the pepper, but it's a bit too much though. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I like it. The spice is on. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's okay. Oh, Chief! <laughs> Hi, Chief! It's actually good to see you again after seven good years, you know? It's good to, to, to see you in, in, in my town again. After you actually blocked me from every means of communication. Mm. Um, <laughs> Miss... Uh, Sandra, yes. Sandra Martins. Mm. It's been quite a while. Uh, you should be married by now. Oh, Chief, I have a son now. And he is seven years old. And I'm actually tired of lying to him because he is your son. Uh, yes, he is your son. Uh, yeah. Son, mm -hmm. who is this lady? And what the heck is she talking about? Oh, I am the woman who gave your husband his son. And he's seven years old. <laughs> uh, anyway, Chief, here is my car, Chief. You know how to get me. And don't even try leaving town without seeing your son. My company actually manages this hotel. And remember, you checked in with your international passport details. So I have them in my palm, Chief. In case you want to try anything funny, I know how to get you, Chief. Please, don't let us do this here. I beg you. Darling. I, I, I can explain, please. I can explain. Wait. Hey. Just move. Move a little bit. A little more. You... Start talking. Can you push a little bit? Please move a little. And start talking. 
sorry. Please calm down. I... I... I what? Start talking! I, I, mean, I mean she... Uh... Talk! Yeah, I'm sorry. Honey, it's, it's a... She's a lady. She's what? A lady I... I had had a a, a a what? I'm running out of patience. A, a fling with uh, uh, over seven years ago. A fling? You? She, she 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 said she was pregnant. I didn't believe her. I thought she just wanted to, you know, to use it to hold me down. I didn't take her seriously, honestly. I didn't know she had she had a child. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even, 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 even in my heart, my very heart of heart, I, I honestly, Sam, I, honestly I, I, I am so disappointed in you. Sam, you cheated on me. I'm me! I'm sorry. You're sorry. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't was intentional. It was I need you to get out. Out. I, I, didn't I need to be alone right now. Out! I didn't get mean, out! I didn't mean to hurt you. Please, calm down. Out! <laughs> Big fool. Can you imagine that? A flink. A flink. Really? Hello, Sandra. It is me, Chiva Nosike. Why do you want to tear my family apart? Why did you keep the baby? Is, is, it, is it money you want? Uh, tell me. Don't insult me, Chief. My son needs a father figure, and I can't deny him that. If you need to see your son, you need to call me. And please, do that very soon. Uh, uh, Sandra. Sandra. <sighs> what kind of trouble is this? My darling, I am sorry. I didn't know I had a child with her. She, I, I didn't know she kept the pregnancy. Are you listening to yourself? Could you hear yourself? How pathetic you sound. You didn't know you fathered a child. Does it make sense? Loretta, my darling, my life, I am sorry. Sam, if you don't let go of my hands, Leave me alone! Your father has a seven-year-old child. Seven years! Seven years old son! Dad? So you have a child? other than myself and my sister? My son, I am not one to lie. Uh, though I have not confirmed it, it seems to be true. This thing happened about seven years ago. I traveled to Abuja to inspect the federal project. Then I met this young girl. She was a civil engineer. But well, believe me, nothing happened until that one day. I, I invited her to, to my hotel room to deliver a design. Design indeed. You young girls. You always have a way of getting what you want. Ah, I, I'm wondering how we got here. You know, believe me, I, I, I've never cheated on my wife. Wow, Chief. 
I'm so impressed. Here yeah, I am thinking you have so many girlfriends to you know that I need to deal with. I mean, sugar girls. <laughs> but truth be told, I am so much attracted to you. I have never been this attracted to any man. No, I don't. I don't get attracted to younger guys. I love them just the way you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Strange. I actually had a nice time. Oh. You got me there. I'm glad you did, Chief. And guess what? There is more where that came from. More. Oh, really? So many yummy things. <laughs> Chief. In as much as I enjoyed what we had together, okay. I wanted to end here. I have a wife. I love her so much. I wouldn't want to hurt her. And I even have a daughter like you in the United States of America. She's a master's degree holder, overseeing my business affairs over there. I wouldn't want to do anything to my family that I wouldn't be proud of. Chief, I understand you so well, okay? You are a very good man. Your kind is rare. I respect the institute of marriage so much and I respect your decisions as well. I don't want to hurt anyone. I'm not like that. Good girl. You know what? Have this on me. You can buy yourself a car, buy stuff. Ch Ch chief, this is too small thing. Thank you, Chief. This is too much. Thank you, thank you. I so much appreciate. <laughs> thank you, Chief. I'm glad you appreciate. Thank you, Chief. You are a good man, Chief. Thank you. But meanwhile, in the meantime, I need to show you what real gratitude looks like. Come here. <laughs> no, 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 hmm? please. Come here. No, no. Chief! <laughs> 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 Come so, how is your Jawo construction project going? Very well, Chief. Very good. I know. Your MD told me of how your project management skills has further extended the company's horizon. Please, keep it up. Thank you very much, Chief. And to the reason I came to see you, I have news for you. Really? Yes. What is it? I am pregnant. What? Yes, Chief. I'm carrying your child. You are joking, right? You are not serious with this thing you just I committed now. I am damn now. serious about it, Chief. I'm carrying your child. I just needed to let you know because I don't even know how to go about it. You know what to do about it. You must get rid of it. I cannot have any child outside my marriage. <laughs> get rid of it. Really, Chief? Really? Yes. You must get rid of it. Oh, no, you didn't just say that. You cannot break my marriage because of your silly mistake. <laughs> get rid of it. And for seven years, I never saw or heard from her again until that weekend getaway. I tried to explain to your mom, but she wouldn't give me audience. Miss Danosige. You have nothing to explain. The only reason why I haven't reported it to her daughter because she's busy planning a conference in Pennsylvania. I just don't want to disorganize her. Please, leave me alone. You make me sick. I can't stand you. Please. Please. Every family has challenges. We can sort this out, please. Please. My tax is out there. Son, your father has my passport locked up. I'm not traveling out of the country. I'm only going to Beatrice's house to clear off my head. I eat. My head is so full. Please. And nobody should try to stop me so that I don't make any right decision that we all will regret. 
I'm leaving. And don't call me. I will call you. Son, let go of my bag. Let go of my bag, you know me. Sir, this, this is the Mr. Tunde's file, yeah, so we need your approval. Sir. Sir. Sir, are you okay? Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Have you been standing there for long? No, sir. Okay, so? This is Mr. Tundi's file. It has um, all the shadows and the synopsis inside. It needs your signature. His new program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A YD. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Where do I for the sign, please? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, all right, good. Yeah. Is everything okay, sir? If you can't drive home today, I can ask to drive. No, it's okay. I can, I can drive. I can drive. I can get one of them right no, now. No, I'll, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay, sir. Welcome, babes. 
You look so tired. Oh, it seems Empire FM has really stressed its most decorated OAP today. You can say that again. The calls just kept coming endlessly. I was even caught up in between consoling and quarreling with one impatient listener. You don't see? And then one guy at the console, he didn't even make anything easy. He kept me talking to this annoying person. <sighs> I hope these people wouldn't stress me when I come back to anchor my new program. Uh, what was the name of your program again? That's um, I wanted to call it Joy's Angle. But the director changed it to So Talk With Joy. So I kind of like it. Joy. Yeah, I like that too. I like that. Yeah. Speaking of the director, have you noticed that that man has been awfully moody lately? Yes. <laughs> Probably somebody's daughter has served him the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's what it is? Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it is, man. I beg you. Say no be man, Abby. I'm sure. One get somewhere, don't show him another side of shit again. I can see where they were. Joy, I'm going to go back. I don't care. Like, oh, yeah, go, 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 go. I'll finish up this. I'm so tired, I beg. I don't know why you're even defending this director. I beg. Everybody, should be breakfast. Everybody, go chop breakfast. Shayo. <laughs> Dennis, what is it? What is it, Dennis? Why are you calling my phone? Oh, you want to confirm if I died from the heartbreak, right? Not at all. Look, I just called to apologize for what happened between us. I'm really sorry. I still love you. You go and give that stupid love to your wife. Give it to your wife. It's you I want. My wife refused to grant me the divorce. She suggests we see a therapist and try to work this out. That is good for both of you. Now listen, after seeing the therapist, your wife should go home. Why do you check yourself into an asylum? Because you have gone mad. You're mad. Dennis, you look at me finish and said, I should be your side chick. Dennis, me. Me, John. Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> Joy, we can still work things out. Please, I, I love you. I'm sorry. Dennis, don't ever, ever call this phone again. Are you hearing me? You think I'm one of those soft girls that, that takes nonsense from men? Or you think I'm one of those ones that will start crying for men? Dennis, listen and listen good. I, Joy, will never cry for you. I will not. I am not those girls that will be crying for men. I will not cry for you. I am too big for that. So please, don't ever call this phone again. Madman. Joy. Hello? Hello, Joy. And who are the girls that are crying and taking nonsense from men? <sighs> Me, right? No, 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 not at all. I'm... Mimi, I'm sorry. I wasn't referring to you, please. Ah. <sighs> Can you imagine Dennis? Dennis want me to be his side chick. Me! Eh? How <sighs> so far do he smoked something. Is he okay? Oh, he's mad. Mad. Uh -uh. Dennis, Dennis. I beg, let's drop Dennis for now. I don't want him to spoil my day because I get better gist for you. That guy phone you. Gist. I beg, give me gist. Ah, bro, go. <laughs> my name is that. <laughs> I beg, give me to me. Beg me. I beg, beg me. nah. I beg. I beg. Lately, what is making our director sober? What is it? You want to hear? Talk now. It's huge. Oh. Calm down, it's huge. See, his parents have been having issues. You know, they are in the country right now. Mm -hmm. So they went for a weekend getaway. A lady showed up and said she had a child for Chief. And Chief couldn't deny it. Yes, because years back, they had something like <laughs> one night stand. <laughs> so now the woman is demanding that she wants Chief to be in their son's life. So the wife got angry and backed out of the house. So our director right now is dramatized because he has always known the parents to be best of friends. But right now the whole thing is just turning upside down. 
How you take notice, gist? George's mom's best friend is my auntie, Beatrice. And all of us, they attend the same church. You don't see for inside church, story the worker. If you put ear for ground, you would hear. So that's why I take care of this one. Wahala <laughs> everywhere. You know, this will be a very good topic for my show. Wait. Are you going to discuss it with him before putting it on air? Did he discuss anything with me? Ah. He didn't discuss with me. Did he tell so. me anything? Ah. I'm not even aware. I didn't hear. Did ah. I mention his name? Own, no. <laughs> My hand no deal. I mentioned his name. That's what I'm saying. Me, Seth, I know here. But you now your auntie Beatrice now he talks a... Which, which? I beg, I beg, beg. Stop it. If you know where you bath, go carry your clothes. Don't even try and with me. Please. This is not your mother's... Best My hand, no deal. I not discuss anything with you. I did not hear anything where you talk. Oh. Mm -hmm. but... I know deal. Lini, please. I don't follow. <laughs> auntie Beatrice is not your family member anymore. Eh, uh, she's not again. George. <laughs> Crazy girl. Mom, please, please. Mom, 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 please. Mom, can you just hear me out, please? Just, mom, just hear me out. Mom, mom, can you just calm down? Calm, mom, mom. Mom, okay, L look, look. About that, mom, just, mom, 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 mom. She hung up on me. Mom hung up on me. Son, sit down. Sit down. And let's give your mom some time to come around. More time. That, seriously, I'm not enjoying this. No, that, that, this is not funny. I mean, I've always described both of you as the best role models, the best couples in the world, people who have the perfect marriage. And seeing you like this just breaks my heart. Why? I mean, what moral justification do you have now to, to, to tell me to go get married? What, what moral justification? Son, there is no perfect marriage. If you find whom you love, go for her. But beyond love, there is patience and endurance. This is my mess, and I'll carry my cross. Regardless, you must get married. Then, when you find whomever you fall in love with, pray. Pray. Hard son. Let me go say my prayers. and you're on to your love bite by Mimi. Okay, today's own is quite very, very crucial. It is crucial and I want you all to listen because I will need your opinion on this one. So we have this two lovely couple who will live in the UK, all right? And they've been married for well over 30 years, living like best of friends. Now recently, just recently, the woman left her marriage and why? because she just found out that her husband has a seven-year-old love child. Now, seven years ago, this man had a fling, who should I call it, a one-night stand with a lady, and she took in. But then again, she didn't want anything to do with this man because she just didn't okay. All she wanted for this man to do was just to be there and be a father figure for her seven-year-old child. Now, what advice do you give to this woman? She, is, she, is, it, 
is it proper for this woman who has moved out i mean like the wife of the man to move out because she found her husband has a love child is it appropriate for her to move out ask for a divorce or she should pretend like nothing happened right and continue to live with her marriage after or after all i mean she has nothing to lose right <laughs> She has two grown-up kids, by the way, a boy and a girl. Okay? Call in and let me know what your thoughts are. Call in and tell me what you think she should do. The show still remains Love Bites with your favorite anchor, Mimi. Hello. Okay, welcome back to the show. Hello, this is Love Bite on your favorite station, Empire FM 111.5, with your favorite radio station, Anchor Mimi. And you have been cranking your brain to give different opinions. Okay, so let me pick the last color for today. Let me pick the last color for today before I call, final, before I give the final verdict. Hello? Hello, Mimi. This is Mrs. Felicia talking. Okay, Mrs. Felicia, what is your take on this? You seem to be the last caller for today, so let's let's hear your thoughts. Huh. Something happened to me. I found out that my husband had children with another woman. And when I confronted him, he told me he wanted a new child. And to top it all, they secretly got married. Oh, oh, oh wow, that's, that's, a, that's a big one. Yes, they got married behind my back. But the God that I serve was not asleep. Mm -mm. He was not asleep. All the children they had were girls. All of them. Then my God, this God that I serve, gave me a male child. And my junior is doing so well in school now. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Just the other day, the other wife came to meet me, complaining that my husband is giving her problems. And as the good person that I am, I told her to be patient. Let her try and work on the marriage because of the children. Yeah? Or will she run from it? She will run now. Let her stay. Even if he says he wants to marry another wife, let her stay. Let her come and see what I'm seeing. God, no, this God is faithful. And that's the same advice I have for the other person, no. My advice for her is to stay and be patient. All these men, they are the same everywhere. It's only God that will save us from their hands. There's no good man anywhere. Hmm? Let her be patient. God will help her. Oh, please tell her. That's my advice I have. Okay. All right, Mrs. Felicia. Thank you so much for calling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this issue is not an easy one. I understand how the woman in question will be to be very, very honest. She feels betrayed, right? I, I bet you all I, uh, agree with me. You all, she will feel betrayed, lied to, and all of that. All of that. The disappointment, you know. But since the lady in question has not, well, has no interest in anything, and she's moved on, okay? That's my take with her life. She just wants the man to know that she has a love child, a son that she needs his presence in his life, okay? So I will advise you, madam, to forgive your husband. You have to forgive your husband and don't hit the child because you know what? The child that brings himself or herself into this life, allow him to carry out his responsibilities as the father. Not because the, you know the child, the innocent, will, will understand. You know, when he grows up, he will understand. Definitely, forgiveness and forget, and you, you know, you just get to live like a one big happy family like you used to and the other woman is used to life like that she doesn't want your husband if you ask me that's what i think she doesn't want your husband i'm sure your husband would not want anything to do with her either if not seven years ago he will have walked away with her apart from that taking from the child that you both have please forgive him please listen to me i know what i'm saying forgive him and that brings us to the end of the show please See you next week. I remember Mimi on your favorite radio station, Empire FM 101.5. I'll see you next week. The 
church tell her our story? I'm so sorry, my darling. Please forgive me. I told you that I've forgiven you already. Why are you still kneeling down? Please get up. Get up. Your son is here. You're embarrassing me. Oh, it's okay. I told you I've forgiven you. Your son is here. Stop embarrassing me. Your hands. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My parents are back. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so sorry, son. The way I handled things the last time. Just, I really, really love this man and I missed him a lot. I missed you too, my darling. I missed you so much, my woman of valor. Okay, son, please take my luggage inside. I need to go speak to this man about how to give his son a better life. Let's go. <laughs> Mimi, <clears throat> I listened to your show two days ago, Love Bite, where you talked about a specific couple, 30 years married, living in England, and the man having a love child seven years ago, and the woman wanting the man to be involved in his child's life. That was about my parents, right? Don't even try to lie. You're not good at it. You've never been good. How did you find out the truth? It's, 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 the, it's, it's the rumor that is flying around in the office. So you now listen to rumors? No. I don't. Sorry, sir. Well, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad you put that on there. You're not? No, because it's resulted into a positive change. How? My mother listened to you, reconciled events, and advised herself. She's back home with my father. So, wow. Yes, yes, yes. So now I have to tell you thank you. That's great news. Great news. The effect of your program indeed, so... Keep it coming. Keep the good work coming. Oh, thank you, sir. All right. <clears throat> Kindly tell Joy I'd like to see her, please. Okay, sir. Okay. <clears throat> thank you. You're welcome. Are you sure? Uh, that means you have to open a center for relationship and marriage counseling. Yes! You want to tell me that George's mom is back in the house? She's back in the house. Oh Everything is settled and George is happy again. Wow! My friend, my friend! Get you too much. You too much, you too much. Collect salute. Bam, bam, bam. The baddest OAP of our time. That's my friend! Now I'm gonna introduce. I'm gonna tell everybody. Say, ah, now my friend will be now. Let's say before that, Shalatin Bile make me the hide my face. Uh, <laughs> not serious. <laughs> but there's one thing that I want to say. Even though I know I'm not married, I know that marriage is work. And if you're not ready to put in the work, don't engage. I'm with you on that. 
you so much. Period. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's to have a successful marriage, you have to be able to fall in love over and over again with the same person. Uh, no, 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 I'm not with you on that. You see that shalom matter? No, 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 no. I destroy, I burn, I cast, I, I for the copy. I said, no, come no. Joy, calm down. Uh, Shola, anything I don't want to hear. I am not going back to Shola for goodness. Give me some credit. You sure? I'm not going back then. I especially not going back to that emotional Babylon that he kept me in. Better! That's my friend! Now let me make you something to eat. I'll be right back. Now now you be my friend. Are you are my G for life? <laughs> let me get you something. Let me get you something. Let me get you something. So your head not correct. Mimi, guys, wait now. What's going on there? Mimi, I thought you embarrassed me. What? Mimi, I said I need to say. Wait, I'll call you. Come here to save me. I should. No. Oh, oh, because of this guy, you're trying to embarrass me. Mimi, I said I must. I must go. Yeah, I'll put somebody here. I'll put somebody here. What is going on? What is going on here? What's happening? So this man wants to meet Mimi. Good afternoon, sir. Shola. Sir. I thought I told you I never want to set my eyes on you. And if I do, I'll send you back to where I got you from. Now. Now get out of here. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Mimi, Sir? see me in my office now. Okay. See the kind, the kind of man where, where this guy did. If I go to talk to him, he will do, he will do bigger, bigger. Just look at the kind of. What would that man just eh? come to the office and try to? Who join? Who join? Who join? Really? Really? Who? Shola Baluku? Shola? You, you saw the way he walked out when he saw me, right? You, you saw that, right? Of course, let me give you the history now. That boy has been an ill-mannered boy for the days I have ever heard his name or known him. His mother, Auntie B as we call her, was my family's gardener for years. Now that woman was so diligent, so, so nice a woman, so, so touchy as a woman. But you know what? That woman was always sad. Why? Because of that non-entity, Shola Balogu. Because of her. Now this same woman, every time she kept crying, we would ask her, what is the problem? She would never say. We ask her, what's the problem? She would never say until she fell ill on her sick bed. She now opened up to us and said her son, Shola Balogu, was serving a second, second jail term. Second jail term. For what? For battery and assault. That woman died of high blood pressure. And that is the person you, you, you frolic with? You? Shola? I'm so disgusted. I'm so ashamed. You have class? Now here's what. Shola got out of jail after his mother died. And what happened? He came to my house. I personally gave him three million naira. And I told him I never want to set my eyes on him again. Now, newsflash, Shola later came up again. How? The police came for Shola, traced him to my house, asking of him. Now, I said, what did he do? What did I do? Why would I be entangled with Shola? And they said they were looking for Shola for what? For assault and battery. He assaulted, he, uh, he battered a young girl and extorted money from her. And to top it up, he impregnated her. A 17-year-old girl. 17. 
Now, I told them I had nothing to do with him. I had deleted his number and I didn't know about wherever he was. I didn't know his whereabouts. And that is the person you frolic with? Shola? You stood so low? Of all men, Shola? Who are you? I mean, how? How could you dig this low into the gutters? What is wrong with you? What, what was this? You? Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't, 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 don't do this here. Don't, don't do this. No, I, I can't stand your tears, so please don't do this. Don't do this here in my office, please. Please. Okay. I'm not happy, okay? That's, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy myself, okay? Because, you, I mean, I've monitored you, you're, 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 you're diligent, you're, 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 you're well-mannered. I've, I've worked with you for years. I've seen you rise through the ranks. I mean, you, you're the kind of girl, I, I, I've always told myself, I, I, will, I will even summon up the courage to even ask you to marry me and, and spend the rest of my life with you all the abuses of womanhood. You, you're just somebody that I've said, you know, I, 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 would, I would spend, you know, my days with. And, 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 huh? What did you just say, sir? I'm so I'm sorry for bringing the drama to the office. I'm very sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to. I didn't know he was going to come here. You've you've been a a great boss. You've been a great boss to me, and you've been like a big brother to me since I started working here, and I really, really appreciate it. If, if that was a if that was the proposal of my ass, that was going on. Because I made up my mind and I'm done with men. <laughs> Would that be all, sir? I'd like to go back to my station, sir. <laughs> You said no? Mimi, you said no to director. Ah, Mimi, please don't make me believe that there is something wrong with you spiritually. You know what? I'm going to take you to my pastor so that we'll pray you out. We need to pray you out of this because well, this is not ordinary. Why would you say that? Mr. George asked you to be his wife and you said no. Mimi, have you not heard the saying that Opportunity comes with want. Have you not? It is not about opportunity. Hi. Now I need to take you to go examine your head. Because I know I don't I don't, I don't get it anymore. Did you that Shola one swear for you? What has, Shola, what has Shola got to do with anything? Eh? Joy. I am not just in the right frame of mind for another Hi. relationship, let alone marriage. I'm done with men. I've said it before, I'm saying it again. It's period. Mimi, please. Mimi, you have to think. This is my life. Like... Joy, can we be logical enough and reasonable enough to know boundaries and respect my wishes? Can you do that for me, Joy? Can you do that for me? Hey! This is the height of it. This is... Who jazz you? Mimi! No, why, why George no follow me now? Nah? Eh? Since they use, 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 use
Najas! Waiting! I was waiting! Ah! Uh -huh. What is this like this somewhere? You still have to arrange your life. You still think you die on, on top of your matter. See what happened now? I beg! They say education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. They also say education is the passport for the future. And tomorrow belongs to those who prepare today. Why am I saying this? I actually called every one of you here to inform you that um, I'll be going for my PhD in the UK and um, my sister will take over from me as I take this next life step. Sir, you mean you won't be working here anymore? Sir, does it mean I'm going to see you again? Of course you will see me. Like my father, the chairman of this company would say, this company is my baby and radio is my life. So definitely I will always be in touch with every one of you. I will monitor your progress and I'll always come back. Okay. Okay. So, at this point, I'll say I'll miss every one of you, especially our very funny Mr. Tunde, who is on air right now with his Yoruba program, Iroin Yajabale. <laughs> yes. So, um, can I say something? Yes. Since I started working here, your words have always been be bold, be honest, and be true to yourself. Yes. And if these are your qualities, you're bold, honest, and true to yourself. A statement you made to me here in your office a while ago. I want you to make it a question. In front of everybody here, ask me again. Ask me. Chances are that I might not say no. Ask me.
ask me again. This maybe in front of everybody. Go on. Without the necessary tool for this question. Um, really? Well. Um, will you. Will you marry me? Yes, yes I will. <laughs> 